storm debris. This is and continues to be a sense of urgency about debris removal. We want our neighborhoods to be safe and we want our businesses to be able to reopen as soon as possible. As we've started in previous briefings, we have, or as we've stated in previous briefings, we have secured a contractor with experience in natural disaster debris removal. And that work has begun to get this debris out of our neighborhoods and business districts. A temporary de storm debris sites are necessary to process and ultimately remove debris from our community. The city continues to pursue temporary debris sites in all geographic areas of our city. The Inca Commerce Park site remains the only site that is currently receiving debris. Currently, both the Inca Commerce Park site and 65 Ford Street site now have 24-hour security monitoring, seven days a week. Although the 65 Ford Street site is no longer, no longer operational, some debris was placed at this site. And until it is removed by the contractor, we will continue to monitor for security purposes and conditions at the site. And as more sites are identified and activated, we will provide similar security measures. As was discussed yesterday by the Corps of Engineers with the neat little graphic they had, um, before placing storm debris near the curb, we are asking residents to sort those materials into the following categories, construction, demolition and bulky items, appliances, electronics, vegetative debris, and household hazardous waste. Please, do not block the roadway with debris or place debris on utilities or meters. We need to keep our roadways clear for emergency access. You do not have to place all of your storm debris out at once. Contractors will be making routine collections and will be coming uh, around, uh, we hope, as frequently as possible. We've also received several questions related to Duke Energy debris. Duke's crews are working to secure or restore all customers who can receive power and crews have been specifically tasked with cleanup, identifying and removing all remaining Duke Energy debris. This includes any broken poles, power lines and transformers that weren't removed during the initial restoration process. Leaf collection. While city crews will not be collecting storm debris, our sanitation crews will begin collecting paper bag leaves starting this Monday, October the 28th. We ask that everyone please consider waiting as long as you can to set out bags of leaves for collection. This will help us to move as efficiently as we can through the ongoing storm debris removal process. And in closing, and as usual, I'd like to extend my continued thanks to the mayor and city council, all of our dedicated city of Asheville employees, our other partners in the county, state, and federal government, as well as our private and nonprofit partners who continue to work diligently to help our community recover. Thank you. Lillian? 